Good evening. This is Pastor Lisa, and I want to welcome you to tonight's Jam Time. Tonight we're going to learn about saying, I'm sorry. When we do something wrong, we know that we should say we're sorry, but sometimes it's really hard. Any of you have a hard time saying, I'm sorry? Well, tonight in our Dr. Seuss story, Bartholomew and the Ooblick, the king has a hard time saying that he's sorry or that it's his fault because he thinks kings shouldn't have to say they're sorry. So I'm going to share some of the story with you. Bartholomew had seen the king get angry many, many times before, but that year when his majesty started growling at the sky, Bartholomew Cubbins didn't know what to, to make of it. Yet all that year, the king did it. All year long, he stared up into the air above his kingdoms, muttering and sputtering through his royal whiskers. Humph! <laughs> Things that come down from the sky. All spring, when the rains came down, he growled at that. All summer, when the sun sunshine came out, he growled at that. And all the all autumn, when the fog came down, he growled at that. And that summer, when the snow came down, he started shouting, this snow, this fog, this sunshine, this rain, bah! Though these four things that come down from my sky? But King Derwin, Bartholomew, tried to calm him. You always have had those same four things come down. Well, that's the trouble, bellowed the king. Every year, the same four things. I'm mighty tired of those old things. I want something new to come down. Something new come down? Bartholomew gasped. That's impossible, your majesty. You can't have it. Boy, don't you tell, dare tell me what I can and cannot have. Remember, Bartholomew, I am king. I know, sire, said Bartholomew. You rule all the land and you rule all the people. But even kings can't rule the sky. Can't, eh? His majesty flew into a terrible rage. Well, maybe other kings can't do it, but maybe I'm one king who can. Mark, you mark my words, Bartholomew Cubbins. I will have something new come down. And that night, when the king was sleeping, he came up with an idea to call in the magicians. And when the magicians came, they did a spell and did some magic and conjured up something new that would come from the sky. And it was called Ooblick. And they didn't know what it was going to look like, but the next morning when Bartholomew and the king woke up, there were little green things coming down from the sky. And Bartholomew was worried, but the king was all excited, and he said, Bartholomew, go and go to the bell ringer and have him ring the royal bell so that we can have a celebration. But when Bartholomew got there and the bell ringer was ringing the bell, nothing happened because all the oobleck was sticky inside the bell and gloopy and nothing would ring. So Bartholomew thought, I need to warn the people. So he ran to the trumpeteer, but there was oobleck in the trumpet and he couldn't make any sound except for glub. So Bartholomew went out to warn people and he realized that the oobleck was coming harder and harder and people were just running all around crazy. And so he went to warn people in the palace, and he found that the royal cook had already rushed down to the royal kitchen. Bartholomew Cubbins saw him trapped there, stuck to three stew pots, a teacup, and a cat. <clears throat> the royal laundress rushed outside to save her laundry. Bartholomew saw her stuck tight to the clothesline between two woolen stockings and the king's best Sunday blouse. He saw the royal fiddlers. They were stuck to their royal fiddles. Everywhere Bartholomew ran, he saw someone stuck to something. So he finally decided he needed to go get the king, and when he found the king, old King Der Derwin, proud and mighty ruler of the kingdom of Did, was trembling, shaking, helpless as a baby. He was covered in oobleck, oozing all over. He said, fetch, fetch my magicians, Bartholomew. Make them say some magic words. Make them stop this oobleck. And Bartholomew said hey, he couldn't because the magicians were stuck in the cave and he couldn't get there. Well then, I must think of some magic words, groaned the king. 
Oh, what are those words the magicians say? Shuffle, duffle, muffle. That's all I can remember, but they don't do any good. The oobly keeps falling harder. Bartholomew Covens could hold his tongue no longer. And it's going to keep on falling, he shouted, until your whole great marble palace tumbles down. So don't waste your time saying foolish magic words. You ought to be saying some plain and simple words. Simple words? What do you mean? I mean, said Bartholomew, this is all your fault. Now the least you can do is say simple words. I'm sorry. No one had ever talked to the king like this before. What? He bellowed. Me? Me say I'm sorry? Kings never say I'm sorry. I'm the mightiest king in the world. And then Bartholomew looked the king square in the eye. He said, you might be a mighty king, but you're sitting in Ublick up to your chin. And so every, everyone else is in you. And so is everyone else in your land. And if you won't even say you're sorry, you're no sort of king at all. Well, then the king began crying. Bartholomew Cubbins, you're right, it's all my fault, and I'm so sorry. Oh, Bartholomew, I'm awfully, awfully sorry. And when he said those words, something happened. The oobleg started to melt away across all the land, and soon it was quietly gone. And then the king went out and rang his bell to proclaim a new national holiday. So what do we learn from this story? I think we learn that no matter who we are, if we've done something wrong, we need to admit it and say that we are wrong. In our scripture, 1 John 1, 1 John 1, 9, it says, But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from everything we've done wrong. This Bible verse reminds us that when we do something wrong, we need to confess our sins or in other words, say we're sorry. And when we say we're sorry for what we've done, God will forgive us. That doesn't mean that we won't get punished or get time out or have to do something to help make the things right that we've done wrong. However, God said that I'll forgive you and love you no matter what. That it's important to say we're sorry and to actually be sorry. So we learned that from our, our scripture and our story. And so we're going to look now at what that might look like in terms of our oobleg. So I have two Lego walls and I have some Lego people. And I'm going to stand them up under here. And what you do is you take a cup of cornstarch and a cap, half, a cup, half a cup of water and you stir it really well together and you get some oobleck. And you begin and you can pour it. We're going to see what happens when we pour it down through. Oblique is going. I'll put it through our straws here, our ceiling. And this oblique, it's made up of molecules, and they're called polymers. And what happens is, is that um, when the polymer, when the molecules stick together, they make the Ublick act as a solid. So we have it, it's a solid in my hand because I've put it, and then if you don't touch it, then the, then the particles, molecules stretch out and they begin to become a liquid. So when I, I can pour it, And some of it gets hard, and then you let it sit in your hand, and you can see then that it becomes more of a liquid. It can set it on there, and it becomes, you can see it kind of dripping from liquid, solid to liquid to liquid to solid. Oops. I was trying to put a solid piece on, and we can watch what happens. There, I got a solid piece on there. And you can see then when you're not touching it, 
that it begins to become a liquid. So you can try this at home and have some fun because now I can take this from the bottom and it's a and when I touch it it becomes this solid and when I let it up here and set it there and don't touch it then the molecules stretch out and become a liquid and then they when I touch them and have them in my hand they're a solid and then become a liquid it's kind of fun to play with um, but whenever you're done playing with it, don't throw it down your drain. It causes a clog. You just want to throw it in your in the trash, and um, and that's the best way to get rid of it. But as we watch and look at this oobleck, changing from solid to liquid to solid to liquid, kind of reminds us of the story and the oobleck and the king and how we need to remember to apologize and say something sorry when we've done something wrong. <laughs> I'm going to read our Bible verse one more time, and then we'll say a prayer. John 1, 9. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from everything we've done wrong. So let us pray, if you'll repeat after me. Dear God, please forgive me when I've done something wrong. Help me to know you'll love me no matter what, and you'll forgive me. Amen. Thanks, and have a good night.